Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. It reports today that Sean Dyche's job as Everton manager is safe, no matter what happens this season. Um, a lot of uh, those reports doing the rounds. Everton on a terrible run at the moment. One win in 15 games. And Dyche's got a huge week coming up. Everton have three home games. Nottingham Forest on Sunday. Liverpool in the Merseyside derby in the midweek. And then Brentford the following weekend. All at Goodison Park. If the Blues boss can get two wins at least in those three games, then it would go a long way to secure an Everton's Premier League safety. Uh, obviously, at the moment, everything's up in the air with the ownership as well. And the manager will have found it difficult with all the the uh, turbulence going on at the top of the club as well. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. This obviously contrary to reports last week that Triple Seven wanted the replacement if they got it. So you don't know what to believe, but he's got a great opportunity to get Everton closer to Premier League safety by winning at least two of those three home games Everton have got coming up in the week. Um, we need something positive. Monday night was an awful, awful performance. It was Everton's biggest defeat um, since the 7-0 at Arsenal 19 years ago. So we have to follow it up with a positive performance and, and hopefully positive three points. And let's hope Neil Mopai on loan at Brentford gets a couple of goals as Brentford beat Luton and do us a big favour. Uh, Jared Branthwaite is reportedly on Manchester United's shortlist for the summer as the good news continues. A uh, fee of around £93 million has been reported today for the young centre-back who made it into Gareth Southgate's England squad. Recently, didn't get on the pitch, but he was there. Uh, Everton are sweating on the fitness of Jared Branthwaite. There'll be more on him at Sean Dyche's press conference ahead of the Forest game. He left the Chelsea game early with an injury on Monday night. Fingers crossed it isn't too bad and he is available for the visit of Forrest at the weekend. Young Everton goalkeeper Harry Tyra has signed a one-year extension. The 22-year-old has been on loan at Chesterfield this season. He helped them get promoted to League Two, keeping 11 clean sheets in the process. He's had an excellent season. The Chesterfield fans love him, uh, and he has signed a new deal with the football club. And finally, Everton's under-21 cyber knocked out of the Premier League International Cup last night. The Young Blues were beaten 4-2 at Crystal Palace. Jensen Metcalf getting both of Evans' goals. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you want to become a Toffee TV Premier member, which means no adverts on videos or podcasts, the link is in the description to uh, sign up. Use the QR code as well. See you later.